Um, so we're going to model the GX web um, uh, mechanism for uh, drawing McLaurin's uh, trisectrix. Um, it's uh, the first of the two mechanisms illustrated on this page. Uh, so for this mechanism, uh, there's the sliders just about everywhere. There's almost nothing um, is of a fixed length, um, but there are a couple of uh, fixed locations. Uh, one is going to be the origin. We're going to have a the mechanism is going to look basically like this. I've got a fixed point here, and there's going to be a fixed point out here, um, and it's going to make a Z there. Um, but I'm going to have um, a line at a fixed location um, parallel to the y-axis. So we'll constrain that um, using a length that makes that constrains both the distance and um, the uh, the fact that they're parallel. We're going to make that three a. Um, and we're going to put another point, we're going to have another, uh, so with that in place, I can finish off what my mechanism looks like. Uh, point D is going to be a fixed location, um, 4A along the x-axis. And that's it as far as uh, lengths go. None of these lengths has got a specified length, but angles are specified. This is going to be the right angle. And this is going to be a right angle. And then let's drive it with this angle here. And so with that in place, we can see what our mechanism is going to do. You can see how um, all the links are changing uh, in length. And um, the point that traces um, the curve is point B. Uh, so let's just create that trace as theta varies. Um, B gives us um, this, the curve that looks like this. Um, we can animate it just to see. Um, and what is its equation? Uh, there we see uh, that the equation um, of the Clorins trisectrix.